Hey guys, we're watching Volgar's Beer Reviews once again. And this time I'm taking a look at Negra Modelo. And until recent knowledge, I did figure out that cerveza means beer. I honestly did not know that. I thought, I actually thought it was a brand. But, whatever, this seems like just as likely. I'm going to use this glass right here. Dr. Oteger. Ristorante Pizza. Is that 30 minutes sprinklers we going already? Oh well. Alright. I think this was a dollar fifty. I think it was eight bucks a a six pack or something like that. You know what? Actually I have the receipt. I can dig it out right now. Alright, we got um Shock Top, the Grumadel is $1.34 a piece. Shock Top is $1.30. I'm surprised it's only four cents less than Negro Modelo. Uh, Shock Top, one was pumpkin wheat, the other one was um, bourbon something. And then I got Guinness, Black Lager, and Sierra Nevada something. Some Lager, I don't remember what it's called. Sierra Nevada something. And. Uh, 18 pack of paps. That's my in betweener. Alright, enough of that. Enough chit chat. Time to get to the beer. Let's see what this is like. I have no idea what to expect. Hmm. Doesn't smell bad. I get a little bit of that, of that Mexican lager smell, and I also get a little bit of that roasted barley, you know, dark smell. Like typical dark beer. Sounds kind of fizzy, like a Sprite or something. And I guess. I could look up some beer advocates, even though it's probably going to be negative reviews. Beer advocate, Negra Modelo. Oh, it didn't figure it out. Beer advocate, Negra Modelo. There we go. Alright, so let's go for the set. It's actually pretty damn good. It's not bad. Is it worth its price? I don't think so. I think it's a dollar a little more, a little too expensive, but the darkness isn't very dark. I was expecting something way darker. I was expecting it more like Session Black with uh, Corona mixed in it. But yeah, the color is kind of like a, a rust color. Actually, it's the same color as that uh, Scratch Grains chicken feed bag. Kind of a, a red-brown. Um, a red-brown. Whoops, all itch. All right, um, all right, looking at Beer Advocate, it gets a 76 out of 100. It's an okay for Beer Advocate, and the bros give it 82, a good. And the average tomato review is 3.34, just like pretty much everything. Um, it's called a Munich Dunkel Lager. I had no idea. 5.4% ABV. Wow, somebody gave it a 1.5. It's not that. It's not bad. The worst part about this beer is the price. I mean, most places I see is eight dollars a six pack, and it's like, I don't know. It just seems way too expensive. Is this this is 11.2 ounces, right? Um, oh, it's 12 ounces, but I don't know. It just seems too expensive for what it is. When I think of like an $8 beer, I think of like uh, Sierra Nevada or Dale's Pale Ale or when I think of an expensive beer, I think of 
Rogue. I mean, this doesn't seem doesn't seem like it should be an expensive beer. It should be cheaper. But that's my opinion. Uh, I'm trying to find a good review. I didn't say what it smells like. Actually, yes, I did. I said it smelled like light. Yeah, I did say what it smells like. Um. So yeah, that's what. Am I forgetting something? I was gonna see if I can read re somebody's review. Um, that's all. Wait, there we go. Next page. The mouth feels like medium. Um, it's not super thin. Like it's not like a PBR thin or something like that. But it's almost as thin. This is if if it was a hot day. Want something to drink? And it was a hot day today. It got like to 93 for Oregon. That's in the valley. That's that's pretty hot. Um, this you wouldn't get too full or or uh, you know too bloated off of off of I don't know how many of these, but my judgment on off of one of them is that you know it's not that dark like. You can see my see my finger right through the glass. It's not that dark. I mean, a lot of people they think, "Oh, dark beer. I can't drink that shit. That's white. Why do you have to drink special beers? Why can't you just drink Bush or Budweiser or blah blah blah?" Or then I'll talk about uh, if I want cheap beer, I like Olympia, and then go, "Oh, Olympia. That's dark. Oh, the gross. Pff, whatever." It's so many people that think that dark just just because it, it's not. A thin water beer like Bush or whatever. It, PBR is is you know thin and watery, but it's good. It's just that much better than Bush. But whatever, a lot of people don't like it. Um, but yeah, they think it just because it, it tastes a little bit stronger, a little bit more to it than just just the water, thin water beer taste like Bush. Um, then it's dark. Uh, Olympia's not dark. IPAs aren't dark. Uh, just because it has a little more of a hue to it doesn't mean it's dark. Uh, I know I'm kind of, I'm trying to, I'm writing off like I'm some beer expert when I can't even like describe what kind of barley is in this beer. I could have looked it up, but I didn't. Um, it should it would be cool if it had a uh, ingredients on label on the back, and it told it told it told you what like what the ingredients were, and you, then you can know right off looking at the label instead of looking up online. Yeah. Anyways. My review on the beer, um, beer be hasn't made, this beer, this beer, okay, this beer is about the same price as Shock Top, and Shock Top isn't really meant to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the craft beers per se, but it's meant to go in the same slot with, or the same shelf space, you know, if someone's going to spend more money on beer, they're just as likely to spend more beer on Shock Top as they are with Negro Modelo, or Guinness, or um, what's another one? Oh, it's another one. Alaskan, sure, whatever. Elysian, Pyramid, why not? Um, forget what I'm talking about. Point is. It, it's good. I'll give it a, a 7.8. It's pretty good. I just wish it was a little bit more, a little, a little more, a little cheaper. I wish I could find a 22 ounce of one of these, but I don't. I see Corona in, in every size imaginable, and I thought about getting a Corona, but I thought, you know, I'll, I'll find, I'll get a Corona one of these days. I don't think Corona's going anywhere, but Nega Modelo, I haven't had it before, and, you know, I'm glad I got this. I was, I didn't know what to expect, and yeah, it's not it's not it's not amazing. It's not the best beer ever. It's isn't Nate no, and it's just because if it was a little bit a, a little more of a darker beer, a little more of a roasted beer, duh, roast whatever, like a darker roaster, darker beer, um, I'd like it more because that's what I that's what I had in mind. But at the same time, I'm not disappointed. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. That it's not as super thin. Well, it is thin. I'm making myself look bad. It's not this really 
corny whatever uh, beer that most Mexican beers are, like Corona and Sol and uh, Pacifico. I mean, they're like they're like all the same, just slightly different. Um, of course, you could say that with American beers, with Budweiser and Coors, but no, I, I can tell them tell way more difference than Coors, Bush, and Budweiser. What all those? Those have way more difference than the than the Mexican ones. But um, yeah, I'm I'm pleasantly surprised. It's not bad. Uh, should you buy this over other ten dollar beer or eight dollar beers? If you like Mexican beers and darker beers, and you like a thin, crisp, refreshing beer. Then sure, but if you want something else that's a little more higher quality, a little more to it, then yeah, the your your money spent on something a little more expensive, a little more local, is is worth it to me. So that being said, it's it's worth it to get this. It's worth it if you don't get this and get something better. But it doesn't suck. That, that's that's why I'm, I'm I'm glad about it. Doesn't suck. And the best part is. I only had to spend a dollar thirty, dollar thirty four, to try it out. And now that I know it's good, I might actually get a six pack of these someday. Am I in a, am I in a hurry to? Not really, because I could just go back to Fred Meyer and get two and like get one and something else and one and something else and one and something else. But uh, yeah, that's that's it for my review. I give it seven, seven, eight, seven, nine. You know, it's it's a good beer. Um. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to stay chill. Keep built beer chilled.